Hello, hello, and welcome back to Fred in the Shed. And we really are in the shed for this one because I want to show you a little solar project that's kept me busy for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Now, like a lot of you out there, we've got these very, very cheap little solar lights in the garden. The missus quite likes these, and I think they're only about a pound each. And I mean, for that money, you can't really sort of moan. But the only problem with them is, is they only tend to last one or two seasons, and then the batteries seem to die, and they don't stay illuminated very long after dark. Now, also, the good lady bought some of these little multicoloured ones for Amazon. Now, these were more expensive. These are around £15, and these are sort of lasted about the three-year mark, but they're suffering from the same problem after sort of the sun goes down they no longer illuminate for very long and the problem is is these crappy little solar controllers that come with them they don't last they seem to do a couple of years and then they're finished i've got a couple of sets of these so it's starting to get a little bit expensive throwing them away so last year i bought this 20 watt 2.1 amp hour solar panel with the intention of building a small solar project that uh, will keep the lights running a little bit longer and hopefully have some control for how long they stay illuminated after dark now fortunately all of this stuff is available on eBay and I bought one of these little incredibly cheap solar charge controllers and these come with a built-in timer which allow you to uh, control the amount of time you want your lights to switch on when the sun goes down. I also bought a cheap little 12 volt battery. These are typically, uh, you'll find these in sort of house alarms. And uh, I started to build up this uh, little project. As you can see here, it's not quite finished yet. It's uh, still ongoing, but I thought I'd sort of show it to you today in this video. From the battery, 12 volts is too much. So I bought a little voltage regulator to get the voltage down to uh, three volts. And I made up some little junction boxes here. So I've got some expansion in the future for more solar lights. So as well as an automated solar light system, I, was, I thought it'd be quite handy if I could use the full 12 volts uh, from the battery in daytime as well, maybe some, some other gar garden features. So for safety's sake, I run a couple of junction boxes here and uh, put in some fuses as well. Now, I'm pleased to say I've had this running for just over a week now, and yeah, it's all working out quite well. The, uh, the LEDs themselves draw very little, uh, very little voltage, just a few, uh, few watts really, and uh, the 12 volt battery does seem to be able to cope quite well. It seems to charge up during the daytime, no problem at all. With the uh, charge controller, I've got the advantage of setting how long I want the lights to come on after dark. I mean, you don't really want them on all night when everyone's in bed. So I've got them set for about three hours once the uh, sun goes down. And although it doesn't look particularly impressive at the moment, this is job in progress. I do plan to get some more lights in the future. I also want to expand the control panel. I'm particularly interested to see how much voltage that panel is coming in, especially on a bright sunny day compared to a dull day. Now, everyone is going to ask me how much things cost and in the comments, so I'll go through it now. Right, these little solar charge controllers, um, you get these on eBay, generally cost between six to 10 pounds, depending where you buy from. The battery I'm using is a house alarm backup battery. It's uh, 2.1 amp hours. Um, I think this was about seven pounds plus delivery, sort of something like that. Now the biggest outlay, of course, is your solar panel. And I bought a 20 watt 1.2 amp panel and I think this was around about 30 pounds delivered. So that's a short look of this solar project that I'm working on. And I will be coming back to this in the future as I expand it. However, if this kind of thing interests you, well, this is not the end of the story because if you pop over to my sister channel, Fred in the Shed 2, you'll see on there I made two full length videos as I went along as I built this project up. And this is how I'm going to be doing a sort of north new format. You know, you'll see a smaller video there on uh, Fred in the Shed uh, 1, but the real bulk of it will be over on Fred in the Shed 2. And this is the old school Fred stuff. You know, you'll see me how I tested things and how I made it and uh, how I built it up. So that's all over there on uh, Fred in the Shed 2. Make sure you subscribe to that channel as well as this one and then uh, you won't miss anything. But for now, well, as always, cheers. Thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. <laughs>